Today, I want to talk to you about a concept that rules the lives of most people on the planet and destroys their enjoyment of life. And yet, it doesn't need to occur. And that thing is called pressure. I want to share an epiphany I had, and it began with the movie Fight Club. There's a line in the movie where Edward Norton's character says, On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for anything drops to zero. So it's this idea that if you just wait long enough, the thing that you're looking at will die. Whether it's a life, a planet, the universe itself, there is a timeline that eventually leads to zero. For some reason that kind of rocked my brain. It seemed to touch a nerve, but I didn't know why. Years later, I got into Stoicism. I was reading Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and so on. And they talked a lot about how we are going to die and be forgotten. The people who remember us will die and eventually our memory will die and the whole human race will go extinct and the universe will die and so on. Sounds really pessimistic, but it's not. The key kind of awakening that I got from this idea that everything drops to zero is essentially ex existentialism, which is What's the point of striving for something when eventually it all disappears? Even if you're trying to leave a legacy for after you die, that too will be forgotten eventually. Let alone the fact that you won't be around to experience it. How does this relate to pressure? Well, what is pressure? Pressure is essentially this urge you feel inside you to be somewhere other than where you are. To be more, better, further along. Instead of being here, it wants you to be there, and it's pushing you to go there. Pressure is internal. We tell ourselves that we're pressured by other people, but actually if you just sit down on the ground and do nothing, nobody can really make you change. There's no, you can passively resist any pressure from the outside. Nobody can actually make you do anything. So the pressure you're feeling isn't really coming from them because the outside world, unless they use physical force, which is incredibly rare, they can't pressure you to do something. Which means you're hearing what they say or seeing what they do and then you're pressuring yourself. You're saying, I'm not good enough where I am, I need to be somewhere else and I need to get there quickly. Where are you trying to get to? When it comes to pressure, You've got to understand that you are pushing yourself to get further along some sort of process. And yet, if you keep going along that process, on and on and on through time, eventually you end up at zero. You'll die of old age, the legacy you're creating will crumble eventually and be forgotten, the human race itself will go extinct. So you rushing to get somewhere into the future that you're not at currently kind of doesn't make sense. And yet, when you look at almost every single individual's life, you'll see them pressuring themselves to be further along than where they currently are. To rush towards that zero for some reason. Why? Why do you need to get there? Considering that there is just another step towards zero. Another step towards death. I think people pressure themselves because they think that if they get there, that life will be better. Anyone who's traveled to get away from their problems will be able to tell you that you can't escape your problems by going from here to there. The problems come with you. That pressure you're feeling right now, even if it pushes you to get there, it's going to keep pushing you once you're there as well. Ask anybody who made $100,000 if they were just like, oh, that's enough. Or did they suddenly think, well, now it needs to be a million. Ask anyone who made a million dollars, well, what about 10 million? You'll notice that the pressure stays with you no matter, no matter how well you obey its orders. Even if you do what it's telling you to do and you achieve what it wants you to achieve, you get maybe a couple of days happiness and then the pressure comes back. You can't run away from pressure. It comes with you and it talks about anything you're currently doing is not good enough. One of the problems is we tend to reward pressure. We attribute our achievements to pressure. We think the things that we did well in the past 
we're done under pressure, therefore the pressure, the stress, the push, the grind, the hustle was what accomplished that kind of achievement. But what if you're wrong about that? What if you accomplish things in spite of pressure? What if you are much more productive when you're not under pressure? You can see this with great artists. When people aren't trying to achieve anything and they're just expressing themselves and living in the moment, they're often also the most productive. You can go and look that up if you like. There's plenty of scientific research to show that people having fun and meaningfully engaged in a task are more productive than people under pressure and being pushed to achieve a goal. That's just fact. So the idea that you've been rewarding pressure for all of your achievements, it's like rewarding poison for your health. You're healthy in spite of the poison, not because of it. But ultimately it really comes down to that main question. Where are you trying to get to? Why do you believe that getting there will be the end of your pain? You think you're going to get there and not be a normal human being? Because I guarantee you, you are. Which means you're still going to be stressed, you're still going to be worried about the future, you're still going to regret the past, you're still going to have a wide range of emotions, some of which are unpleasant. There's no goal that can be achieved to end that for you. If you can't do it now, you won't be able to do it then. Ironically, learning how to let go of pressure now means that getting there will be enjoyable. If you can't let go of pressure now, if you need pressure to get there, then being there will be full of pressure as well. You're just going to repeat the cycle and you know this because you've already done it. Wherever you are right now, you know that at some point in your past, this current position that you're in is an improvement and yet you still feel pressure to improve it even further. Practical tip, you're feeling the pressure, you're trying to be there when you're here, you're stressing yourself out, what do you do next? Ask yourself, what if I was going to die tomorrow? Bring the awareness of your zero to your conscious space. Go, you know what, it doesn't matter how hard I strive, I cannot prevent my death. So the only thing that has any meaning in a world where you're definitely going to die and everything's definitely going to crumble and we all go to dust eventually is what you're doing right now. It's the only thing that's really real. I'm doing it right now. Before making this video, I was a little bit tired. I thought, oh, maybe I can't be fucked doing one right now. But then I thought, well, what's meaningful? What do I want to be doing with my life right here, right now? Do I want to be sitting in a chair tired and procrastinating? Do I want to pressure myself to pump out 10 videos so that I can make a big name for myself? No. I actually want to talk about pressure itself. Here, now. I might be dead tomorrow. I don't know what the odds are of that, but you might be watching this video kind of posthumously. I might be dead by the time you see it. Does that make me making this video any less meaningful? No. I don't need this video to get a lot of views. I don't need it to make a name for me. I don't need my business to grow. I just need to be here right now looking at the little circle that is a camera on my phone speaking what I believe to be the truth. Because then I feel good about myself right here, right now. No pressure. So next time you're feeling under pressure, remind yourself, you're going to die. Yeah, everybody you know is going to die. The whole human race is going to die. So do you really need to achieve that thing in the future so vehemently? Does it, is it really that big of a fucking deal? Or should you be focusing on doing the right thing right now to have a meaningful moment? Choice is yours. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe on YouTube and share this around to help us grow. No pressure, of course. And if you want any help dealing with this on a more personal level, get in touch with me, dan at brojo.org, and we'll talk it through. Cheers.